Jack, this is a Brother Machining Centre, very high speed machining centre from White House Machine Tools. Tell us firstly, before we look at the loading system, how fast this machine is. It, rapids are 60 metres a minute, so you go from zero to 100 very, very fast, so the increments are not few and far between. So it's not a, one for the light-hearted and a training machine. It is very, very fast. And is that why you bought it? Uh, it's one of the reasons. Obviously, it's a BT30 machine. It is very, very fast, but obviously with BT30, it has its limitations in terms of what material you can cut and depths of cut. I suppose the big thing for an engineering company is they've got a part and they want to make it faster. Were you doing these components on a previous machine and have you improved your cycle times as a result of the high speed Brother Machining Centre? Yeah, so the way we looked at it is sometimes it's not all about speed, it's about consistency, it's about overnight running. Because this is partnered up with the System 3R, we, we, we don't run it on the limit, we run it with high quality tooling and run it at a comfortable level so it runs all night. This is a five axis machine as you see here because you've got the two axis table so you have got the ability to hit five faces. Yeah, absolutely. So what we, we do with this machine is hit all five faces and leave a very, very minimal amount of machining left. So most of the time it's just a face and a chamfer on a very simple machine. I'm going to ask you to walk backwards now because I want to have a look at this <laughs> um, System 3R. This came with it. Let's open the doors here. A very unique uh, pallet loading system here. Tell us a little bit about what it does and again why you why you purchased this with the brother. Yeah, so absolutely. If, with this pallet system it gives us the, the option to put a lot of different size materials in the vices. We, we bought it with a pre-crimper from Lang um, because this solution you can hold on 3 mil of material and do quite extreme stuff. We actually had a, uh, a scenario where the operator forgot to do up the vise and it still machined the component. It still machined it. It still man. machined it. It wasn't, obviously, it was slightly chattery, but it still machined it. Not a good surface finish, I bet. <laughs> what, what does strike me here is the amount of vices you've got in here. So you really can load this up with, with how many parts? Uh, we've got 65 vices in here of two different types, obviously the medium vice and the large vice from Lang. Um, but we can load it up with up to probably 75 parts at the minute that will run all night. And is that your aim here, to get the overnight run on this? Yeah, the future of engineering as we see it at Darrow is unmanned machining. That's where we win a lot of our business, and that's the future of engineering. It's about running the flexibility to run small to high batch and turn the setups quickly. This is a great solution. You've got another brother machining centre we're going to go and have a look at now. So let's shut these doors and let this machine do what it does best and uh, walk over to this other machine. So again, very much a focus here, Jack, not just on the machine tool, but how you've actually gone about equipping the machine. What, what have we got here? So we've got a micro lock system uh, on two Nikon units, two Trunnion, and a twin pallet machine. So it gives us ultimate flexibility. It's all about getting your setup times as low as you can. So with this Trunnion here, you can machine what, one, two, three faces? Yeah, yeah, up to, up to, up to basically four different jobs on each side of the Trunnion. So what we try and do is op 10 on that side, op 20 on that side. Tell me about this brother machine. It's, this is a twin pallet, isn't it? Yeah, twin pallet, 40 tools, 60 metres a minute, BT30. Again, have you got that acceleration in the spindle to go up to whatever the spindle speed is very, very quickly? Yeah, it goes up to 16,000 RPM in, I don't know what the exact figures are, but probably three seconds, something like that. So the idea for you as well on this is to get these parts finished as quickly as possible off the machine. Yeah, absolutely. Get them off the machine and reduce the manual loading. It's all about getting the labour out of the job. So while the guy's loading this, it's actually making parts. The spindle's turning. And is he, is he quick enough? Is he quicker than the machine? Does he load this before the machine's finished machining? Well, if he's not, we put more parts on the pallet. <laughs> With this as well, how, does it, how do you change these pallets here? Because you've got the microlock vices. Uh, does this cut, is this pneumatically attached? Yeah, so it's, uh, it's microlocks dot lock as effectively. So we've got a pulsator that goes there. The pallets come off. We can put our dedicated fixture in on it, or we can put these pallets back on. Um, so it's very, very flexible, and it takes about 30 seconds to pull one of these off. When you, when you start moving work holding around and taking parts off and putting parts on, they've got to go back in the same place. Yeah. How, how does this achieve that? Uh, it's, on, it's on pull studs, effectively, that go on and are reliable within, I'd say, within you know, probably 8 to 10 microns. If you had a few words to summarise your brother BMCs here and the automation that you've added to them, how much of a, or what would those words be and how much of a difference has it made to the company? I think it's given us a unique edge in terms of speed. Um, so I'd say they're flexible, reliable uh, and fast.